It's Pride Month in Savannah, and WTOC is highlighting the voices of our LGBTQ community. Our Bronte Sorotsky speaks with a woman who played a critical role in bringing pride to the hostess city. A lot of people call me the grandmother of Gay Savannah, and I'm proud to wear that title. Pam Miller, one of the original board members that helped start Pride in the Hostess City. The first Pride was at the Railroad Museum, and we did it there because we could cordon it off because we really weren't sure about safety and security issues. Savannah's first Pride was in a closed off space, not open to the entire community like Pride celebrations nowadays while we were somewhat isolated. So um, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to this year about being in Forsyth Park. Back then, Miller remembers how hard queer representation was defined. I had no role models. I mean, I didn't even know a gay person. She also remembers how limited gay rights were. I married and uh, had to go out of state to do it. I went to Massachusetts to get married. Now, some consider her a hero to the LGBTQ community in Savannah. Miller is using her experience to help other seniors in the gay community find connections and thrive through a new queer senior support group called Third Act. And the reason is, is we're not done yet. And uh, we got a long way to go and there's no final scenes for us now. The details of the group are going to be up to its members. Miller wants to get to know everyone to see how to best meet the needs of this community. What resources do they need? We want to be able to help them figure out where they need to go to get the things they need to be successful, happy, healthy, LGBTQ seniors in Savannah. From social gatherings to meaningful discussions, Miller says she's looking forward to continuing her impact on Savannah's older queer community. Reporting in Savannah, Bronte Sorotsky, WTOC News.